All right, so at least one of you said that uh, you wanted me to make a video about the P38 that I've got here in the garage. So here we go. So I bought this truck in February uh, from a friend in North Carolina. And as you can tell, it looks pretty clean. You can see right there, I've got some issues going on. He bought it and he did some uh, mechanical work to it. He did all of the head gaskets. He put new cats in it. Uh, he did pretty much a whole engine refresh. Um, or a good bit of an engine refresh. Interior is fairly clean. It's a good truck. It's got 170,000 miles on it. Uh, not many issues in here. Some, some trim that could stand to be replaced, but in general, a pretty, pretty straight and clean truck. Hey, Doug's cars. I recognize that plate. It's got a couple of little dents here and there, but overall it looked like it would be just a fun driver my first land rover was a p38 so these will always hold a special place in my heart but i got it cheap because uh, it wasn't running so well it was running and then it wasn't as all rovers do uh, it sat for a while and then he went to turn it over and it started misfiring pretty badly since he had done so much work, he thought that it was probably the fuel injectors because it had sat, some crap got in the, in the fuel lines and just was causing the misfire. So he bought some injectors, it sat for a longer time. I bought it, brought it home, put the new injectors in and it still was misfiring. So I naturally went on to new plugs and wires. I did that, still misfiring. So I had my friends over at Sports Car Workshops take a look, and they determined that in cylinder number eight, there was zero compression. Knowing that the head gasket was recent and good, I thought it probably wasn't a head gasket issue, but they want to do a head gasket job, and I thought, okay, well, let's see if I can figure anything out before we go down that road again. Because that's the logical conclusion, right? If the... Uh, uh, head gasket it is bad then you know that that's common really common on these trucks well if you can't already see it the exhaust valve on cylinder number eight looks pretty pretty bad see that exhaust valve is completely broken so i got uh my infinite source of knowledge on YouTube together. And I bought some tools, looked up a procedure, and I am going to attempt to replace that uh, without removing the head. So I'm gonna give that a shot and uh, see where it goes. But if that works, then um, I'll drive this for a bit, just for fun. And then I'll probably sell it because I don't actually wanna live with a uh, P38. They are great uh, when they're running. I like them a lot, but I think I'll, I'll be ready to let this one go. It's already been six months here in the garage, uh, but everything else looks healthy. Everything else looks good. It actually run, ran pretty well. It just uh, was obviously not running healthily, uh, but it sounded good when it was running, apart from the really dramatic misfire. Just take that for what you will. But I'll be posting updates. Uh, hopefully I'll get some time to work on this fairly soon. Um, this is the, the tool that I bought. It's a Lyle Valve Keeper Remover and Installer Kit. So the plan is to put the uh, engine at top dead center, pull the spark plug, uh, fill that cylinder, with some air. So I got the valve holder, plug that in. The procedure for this is just to take a weighted hammer, uh, hammer down on the keeper, and then replace this valve spring and reverse the procedure. So I will post updates, but I don't have much for now. It's been like this for a couple of months, but here's my project truck. For the one of you that asked for it, uh, here it is. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.